Coexist Comedy Tour performed outside at Cerner Plaza Thursday night. The tour consists of five comedians of different religions and poses the question, can people of different religions coexist? So how are you guys doing? Yeah. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? The atheist. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. We don't actually knock on your door and annoy you when you're doing other things. Please. I love the Buddha because he's a real American. He's totally obese and totally okay with it. A little down this evening. Um, there were these two ladies arguing in front of my uh, my uh, apartment complex today, and I live up on the third floor, so I had to walk by them. And uh, I got up to the third floor of my apartment, and they were cussing and yelling. And, and I looked down at the ladies, and I said, "Ladies, uh, could you please keep it down?" And uh, one lady looked up at me and said, Hey, go F yourself, you duck-billed mother effer. That's what she called me, duck-billed mother effer, which is weird. So I went back in my apartment, I was a little shooken up, gotta admit. And I go back out and I say, Ladies, could you please stop cussing? You're really, I'm gonna call security if you don't stop. And the other lady says, Oh, you're gonna call security? Well, if you do, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Which was hella weird, because she started climbing up my fire escape after me. I freaking panicked. I'm not a fighter. All I had were these barrels. I just started chucking the barrels down at her. I've noticed, though, whenever I tell people my name, they're just fascinated by it. Yeah, they're fascinated. They're like, Tisa, Tisa, Tisa. That's such an unusual name. Now, does it mean anything in your language? So I'm like, yeah, um, it's an ancient Persian word, meaning, aww, we're so disappointed it's not a boy. I know I look it. I'm not a Muslim, I'm a Hindu, and there's a difference. They come from Pakistan. We come from India. They don't eat pork. We don't eat beef. They are associated with 9-11. We are associated with 7-Eleven. Look around you. You are sitting in an audience full of Christians and Muslims and atheists and Hindus and Buddhists and some really stoned guys. <laughs> as far as I can tell from up here, everybody got along pretty good, huh? <laughs> and we got in a few fights backstage, but it was over drugs. Nothing to do with religion. I think it's been really interesting about the tour compared to other tours is where we get to perform. I mean, Berkeley and uh, you know, Sac State. But then also we just played the, the hot springs, the Harbin hot springs, which like, you know, clothing optional soaking tubs and stuff. I mean, it's kind of kind of a weird scene to go from that to a college, to a comedy club, to, you know. We played the uh, the atheist solstice party in San Francisco, and it's, uh, it's been interesting. That's not nice. Uh, jokes aside, uh, the best part about the tour is I really have learned a lot about Islam, about Christianity, about Buddhism, and about lack of beliefs as much as I've learned about for myself too. So.